hello guys welcome to this amazing wix tutorial in this video i'm going to show you how to display your view counter on your wix repeater now this may be a little bit different from how it's been displayed on a dynamic page which was in the last video that i made so as you can see uh, it looks different here but then if you use your data set to actually display this item on your repeater it's going to look uh, a bit different so I'm going to show you how to do it this way and format it this way so that it looks clean and professional. Alright, so follow me to the end of this video and I'm going to show you how to get this done in a few minutes. Alright, so here in my editor, the first thing we want to do is to add the text and also the eye icon to your repeater. So what we're going to do over here is go over to add and we're going to go to text and add a text onto our repeater. Now I'm going to go ahead to format this and let's have our value as zero first of all and then we're going to resize this element to a smaller size and add it to this section of your repeater where you want it to be displayed. Okay and next thing you want to add is the eye icon. So to add the eye icon head over to add to decorative and then to icons and here we have more icons. So feel free to search for eye and then you can actually choose any of these icons. I'm going to go with this one so double click on that to add it to your page and then you're going to I'm going to change my design to something that looks like the team that I'm using and then you're going to resize this to the size of the text itself and then align it horizontally next to each other now that looks like we are done with the design the next thing we're going to do is to add a code to make this operational but before we do that i just want to show you a quick way how this would look if we used a data set so click on the connect and we're still on the same data set and this is the field we want to connect which is the page views so once you do that in preview you're going to see that this quite connects properly yes but it doesn't display it in a professional way now this doesn't look so good and we want to reduce the number of text that we have displayed on our repeater so i'm going to show you how to get this done before we continue please do well to subscribe and like this video and also i'm going to release a video on how to sort your repeater based on the most popular so if you want to be notified of that video please do well to click on the notification to be the first to know when that video comes up okay so we're ready to use the code and to begin make sure to turn on your dev mode from here turn that on and your code panel should expand automatically or if it doesn't expand just head over here and maximize so what we're going to do is to add an on item ready to our repeater so to do that make sure you click on your repeater and here in the properties panel you can always show and uh, hide and show this properties panel and you're going to click on on item ready and hit enter once you do that this uh is going to be added into your code and the next thing that we want to do is to add a parameter that is going to display each of the items with different data so we have the single item which is one of them and we also have item data this is also going to pull the data from our database okay and here what we're going to do is to use the single item to indicate that we want different data for different uh, items and we are going to get the id of our text that displays the number of views which is this text over here now the text id is called text 18 but i want to change it to view counter so let's change that to view counter and then let's place it right there once we're done we want it to be displayed in a text and uh, we're going to use the item data to indicate what field that we want to pull the data from so we're going to head into our databases and here in our tour database i'm going to show you the field that I'm, I'm trying to retrieve the field key or the, the field that we want to display data from and which is this field right over here and we're going to click on this and copy this field key okay so these are all the views and we want to display these views on our repeater okay so here we're going to place it just after the dot for the item data and most importantly this is not going to be displayed because this page view field is a number field and this text only displays string values or values that are not numbers so what we're going to do is to convert this to a string and once we do that this should be able to work now let's run this and see how that displays 
now it is going to display the same way that the data sets would normally display it so and that is the reason why i'm going to introduce a function that i have used for the dynamic content page and i'm going to use that same function to display this item so to do that let's head back to our title page or our dynamic page and then we're going to copy that function so right over here the function is the format view i'm going to copy this and i'm going to head back to my list page or the tour list page okay so we are here and i'm going to paste in this function right over here now we have this function and we have a parameter for the function and the parameter is for the views and here the views is indicating that if the value or the number of views we have is greater than 999 and if the value is less than 1 million then that means we, we need to display those values in 1k or 2k or 500k and so on and the same thing also happens for the if the views is greater than 1 million and is less than 1 billion so what we want to do is to replace our the parameter from this function and replace it with these items here because these are actually where the views display so i'm going to add our function here which is the uh, format view i'm going to add it right here and i'm going to add a parenthesis right over there and that should be closed so this is going to display our views in a way that looks professional like we have added over here so previewing this website you can see that that has been applied using the format view function so this is how you add a views or view counter onto your wix repeater so let's have a look at this on the live sites let's uh, refresh this page for one and you can see that we have this item displayed as 35 views now let's go to visit this dynamic content is 35 and now it's 36 and when we go back to the previous page it's also going to be displayed as 36. so this is how you add a view or display a view counter on your wix repeater so if you did enjoy this video please do well to like and also check out my other tutorials on how to add a view counter on your wix dynamic page and also how to display comments or add comments on your wix dynamic page now this video may only be useful if you have checked out my other tutorial on how to to display or add a view counter to your dynamic page and here we're just simply displaying the items so thank you very much i hope to see you in the next tutorial bye bye